So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. You got to pimp my ride. This video is brought to you by Digizani, the best place to get GTA 5 up modded accounts for any platform. Remember to use the coupon code Jimmy for an extra 5%. Off. Hello, all my servers, ladies and ladies out there. How's it going? It's Brad. We are also known as JimmyJ57, and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Mod. Now, I haven't done one of these in a while, but I'm back to some modding since we're done um, a lot of the vehicles that have come out that are new in GTA Online. There is still a couple more to go, but I figured today we'd uh, get a nice mod in here. This is the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, and it is a, it's a beauty, it's a beauty. It's a very well done mod, and um, you know, just we're gonna be pimping out this mod today. So, let's go inside, let's see what features we got. Now, obviously the color I got on here, Ferrari red, I think it's a grace red that's actually on here is what it looks like, but you know that Ferrari's gonna look great in red. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to go for a different color. Um, it looks like you can actually color the brake calipers as well. I think they're blue right now, but hopefully I can change that with a secondary color. So let's get right into customizing this. I'm gonna try to stay away from the reds just as a little bit of a challenge. But um, I can, I, you know, there's some other colors that'll look good on this car. So let's get started. I'm gonna max out the armor and brakes. Um, I think. I don't know what I want to do for the front here. We got stock front bumper, we got the Euro bumper, got the race bumper, then the drift bumper. So it looks like the Euro bumper and the drift bumper are a little sportier. Got some diffusers on there, got some canards on the side, but I think I like just the race bumper here with the mesh in the front. I think that looks really nice. I also do really like the stock bumper, of course, but I think I'm going to go with this one just to kind of change up a little bit. Get the engine going on there. The exhaust, what do we want on the exhaust? Um. Oh, my camera's kind of locked on the exhaust there. That's kind of weird. Um, so you can just see the difference there. One of them just kind of looks like the titanium tip exhaust. So I think I just like the stock one for this. Uh, horn, we don't need to worry about. Lights, definitely going to put Xenon lights on there. Do we want the neon kit? Uh, it's questionable. I'm just going to go no neon kit for this one. Uh, plate, I'm going to go with a yellow on black. I haven't used yellow on black in quite a while, but I'm going to put it on this one. Uh, we do have liveries. Okay, that's cool. So we got the stock livery, obviously with nothing on here. We got the livery number one. It says Leo Vegas on it. Looks pretty cool. Um, I think you can still see some of the color. Yeah, so it looks like a few spots there, the mirrors and some of the kind of camouflage spots are the primary color of the car. But pretty much covers it up for the most part. So I'm gonna keep going. We got the, uh, the Italia stripe here, the Ferrari stripe. It's a classic all the way down the middle. Looks very nice. And then finally, oh, there we go. Okay, so it looks like this one just kind of puts decals on the door. It says Oakley Design. Uh, nothing too major. Um, I don't think it does anything to the back or the front. Okay, this last library makes the front uh, here all black instead of the primary color, which is actually kind of nice. But I don't know how I feel about having the decals on the side. I'm just going to leave it stock livery. We'll have to go outside afterwards and use my mod menu to actually change the colors on the car. Um, but we can go to skirts. So it looks like we've got the stock skirt right now, which I don't know if that's a secondary color or just is always black. Carbon skirts. You can go with a little fancier of a skirt, like the street skirt here. I kind of like the carbon. That looks nice. Spoiler. All right. Obviously, this is not a low-level spoiler like it says. It's a huge-ass spoiler. It's a GT wing right there. Oh cool, and then we got another uh, spoiler here with some uh, decals on it, which would go well if I chose the third livery. Um, I don't think this car looks that good with spoilers, to be honest. I like it without it more. Um, even a little ducktail in the back wouldn't be bad, but obviously we don't have that option. Suspension, transmission, turbo tuning, wheels. Now let's see what uh, the high-end wheels look like on this thing, because a lot of the times with mods, you like to keep the modded wheels that are already on there, of course, because they're the wheels that came with the car. Like, those look those look really good. But, you know, I'm going to try to change it. I'm going to try to find something else that looks good. Let's see what we got here. Um, those ones are actually really nice. I do like those GT Chromes. I'm going to put those on there for now and just keep searching through. The Super Gees are always a classic. I think I do like, yeah, I think I do like these GT Chromes. All right, we're going to put that on there color-wise. Oh, oh, that's right. The inside is the one that gets colored for these ones. So I'm just going to go with a black inside on there. So the alloy, just to kind of change up a little bit. Um, tires, we can go... Yeah, no, no I'm not going to put the enhanced tires on there. But I will go with, I think, a black tire smoke. Just to keep it generic. Nothing too crazy. Limo smoke. 
All right, now we're gonna go outside and we gotta customize the color. So all we really did, we changed the front, uh, changed front bumper and we changed the skirt on the side and the wheels. So now we gotta change the color. So let's pop into our menu here. It's already in the, oh, it's already in the color menu. And let's see what we got. So starting from the top, we can go with something like a, a graphite. Oh, and we all know the graphite would look good. Look at that, that's beautiful. Uh, nice outside here. I think also something like a silver or a bluish silver also looks really nice actually. I like that. Nice and bright. Uh, we'll keep moving here. Got the stone silvers. Of course the reds. Torino red, formula reds. All gonna look fantastic. I actually kind of like that Garnet red. That actually looks like Garnet red however you want to pronounce it. Actually looks kind of nice. It's kind of different. Not as bright and kind of has that white pearlescent on there which actually makes it look pretty cool. The bright orange actually looks really awesome. Um... What do we got? The Sunset Red, Cabernet Red, oh my god, the Candy Red, yeah, the pinks are a little much, but the oranges are kind of nice if you want kind of a brighter car. The yellow, of course, looks really good. Race yellow looks good as well. Um, I think I might go down to the blues. That's probably the only other thing that's going to look real nice on here. The dark blue looks really nice. Oh, the Saxon blue, that's, you know what? Kind of different for a Ferrari, but I kind of like it. Uh, the Mariner blue is also very cool. Um, let's see the rest of the blue. Surf blue. You know what? I kind of like that Saxon blue. It's a little bit different, and we're staying away from our reds there. So I kind of really like that. Um, for pearlescence, let's see what we can do pearlescent-wise. So I'm going to head to Ice White. But we got the Secret Gold, which is pretty cool. Ice White will look great. Cream will look nice. You know what? I kind of want to put the Secret Gold on here. That looks pretty sick. Uh, now let's see if I, I want to see if any liveries actually look good with it now. So we got, obviously not that one. Um... Library number two, or yeah, library number three and then library number four. Not too much different. You know what? I'm actually gonna put this library on here. Kinda makes it look cool in the front with that black. And I think we are all done. It looks like it took off our pearlescent, weirdly enough. There we go, got the pearlescent back on there. And we are all done our car. Check out this beauty. It was kind of a challenge, staying away from the reds, obviously on a Ferrari. The reds look fantastic, but take a look at this. I never used Saxon Blue. That's a, this is a nice one. All right, let's take it up for a spin. This mod has crazy handling on this car. As you can see, I'm having a hard time. It's sliding around, and I am cooking. Oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho. that is so hard to control. All right, let's see what kind of kind of max speeds we can get this to. We got a straightaway right here. All right, let's uh, go first person. and Keep an eye on that dial. See how high we can get it up there. Oh, I can't even see it anymore. We're past... We're close to 320 right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how realistic that is, but oh, oh shit! And we get stopped by one pole. All right, so this is a beauty car. I'm actually really liking this one. Definitely that paint job, a really nice one. Saxon blue doesn't get used too much, and I kind of like that yellow on it. Might actually uh, incorporate that into an ultimate color guide one time. But that concludes this episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Mod on the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. If you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below if you've not already. And feel free to uh, recommend any car mods that you guys uh, want me to do for Pit My Mod. Um, it's pretty much infinite possibilities when it comes to modded GTA. And I will try to find some nice mods with, you know, some tuning upgrades and stuff for the cars that you guys request. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a good day. You feel the dragon fire.